Coming to you live from the Mushroom Kingdom, it's Ask Mario! <sighs> New stage, same old dumb show. I'm so sick of this. <gasps> Babe, it's you! I'm finally here! Hello, sweetie! <laughs> That's right, your peachy's here. Ah! Oh! oh, right! Now you too can answer dumb questions from our dumb fans. Not gonna lie, toots. I thought you being here would make this more fun, but it'll still be lame no matter what. Take me away to your castle, you big strong hunk. Let's spend some time alone. Dude, who am I to complain? Get up in time! <laughs> this is more romantic than a magic carpet ride! I've been saying it for years, Toots! Glad you came around! <laughs> wow, I can't believe he fell for that! <laughs> I, I can! <laughs> Oh, uh, all right, you two. The course is clear. <laughs> <laughs> nice oh. peach impression, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> and what a great prank. After imprisonment for a year, I'd want a break from it, too. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Hey, it was your peach at entrance that inspired me. <laughs> Man, this season finale is off to a great start. Uh, welcome to the show, Toadette. How you doing today? Much better. Now that that big palooka is out of the picture... Even though he helped save you from that dark mess puddle in Sparks of Hope? He has my gratitude, not my respect. Okay. Ah, uh, forget Bowser! I'm just excited to get to share the stage with my best friend! Yippee! I know! It's so cool that I get to be here for the 20th episode! It's an honor to be the first lady on the show! Physically present, that is. Yahoo! And we're happy to have you here. Anyways, let's get this train wreck rolling. What the? <laughs> That's my line, you stinky. <laughs> what the? Who's stinky? Babe, did you hear something? <laughs> yeah, Bowser. It's a me. What the heck? Mario! I can hear your stupid voice, but where's your stupid face? Bowser, that's incredible. What? You're a... Oh, well, what's it called again? <gasps> You're a telepath, Bowser! What did you call me? A telepath? Your <clears throat> powerful brain is psychically listening to us from miles away. Huh. Oh, yeah. I've done this before. Wow, that's amazing, you big hunk of Koopa. I am? I mean, uh, yeah, of course I am. <laughs> oh, and uh, by the way, nerds, Peach is here with me. She came on stage and asked me to take her away to my castle. What? You kidnapped Peach on company time? You're supposed to be back here answering questions. I'm so mad. Don't care. Look, I know you chumps are gonna try to come rescue her again. But could you at least wait until after the show's done? I can still answer questions on the way there. If I must. Okie dokie. Let's get... Wait. We're not just going to be answering questions about the Super Crown, are we? Uh, maybe one, but that's about it. I, I know you get sick of that subject. <sighs> Thank you. Let's party! All right, Toad's got a question from Toad. Okay. Uh, when you eat a mushroom, isn't that considered cannibalism? Also, is Toadette your girlfriend, friend, or sister? Did you send in a question to yourself? Either that's a fan or it's another toad named Toad. Do you guys always get weird questions like this? First of all, no, it's not cannibalism. We'd be cannibals if we were eating other toads. Non-sentient edibles like super mushrooms or mushrooms that restore health are completely acceptable. We're related to mushrooms, but we're not the same. Uh, how so? It's simple. We're people and they're food. Food that has eyes? Eyes that are 
connected to a brain? What? There's no brain in there. Dude, you're overthinking it again. No, I'm not. It's freaking weird. What if I ate a tiny little human head? How do you think people would react to that? Where, where I'm from, they'd freaking, I don't know, send me to prison or an asylum or something like blah, 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 blah. So, uh, that uh, other question. No, <laughs> no romance, no, no relation. <laughs> yeah, right. I bet you guys make out when we're not looking. Ew, as if. Toad's a sweet guy, but uh, he's not my type. He's more like a little brother to me. Hey, I'm older than you! Age doesn't equal maturity, buddy. <laughs> buying it. And then I found one of those mushrooms on Earth, and it didn't even have eyes, so I tried eating it because I wanted to grow taller, and I had a bad time. Next question. Elizabeth Snowbell has a question for the bros. Did Bowser ever tell you about the time he went to Petalburg and had a riveting conversation with a poster and a Bowser? Did you really not wonder what the heck Peach was doing in a random Koopa's house? Ah, I love this game! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you, you talk to a poster? <laughs> Look out, everyone! Here comes the huge, mighty king of guys who talk to posters! <laughs> Shut up! Oh, that was humiliating. But I learned my lesson. From that point on, I started making sure the princess talks back to me first. And I have plenty to say about how handsome you are. Darn Tootin! I've never fallen for that gag again. Next question. Nintail has a question for Toadette. In Paper Jam, how hard was it to make the cardboard colossi? And why do you and Toad always get in Mario's way in Kingdom Battle? <laughs> oh yeah, those giant paper crafts were a blast to make! They were a challenge, but luckily, I had the Paper Toads acting as manual labor! We got them done in a snap! Mm-hmm! But it was much more difficult when I was by myself in Bowser's castles! Thankfully, there was enough leftover material from the previous fights for me to repurpose into the Yoshi and Fire Mario crafts. You did a great job, Toadette! Even better, I got the help out too! The other Toads and you had to carry those huge things! It was quite the workout, ugh! Uh, were they that heavy? Less heavy! More big and awkward to move around! Imagine moving something like a giant bed into a friend's apartment! You know how tricky that is? <laughs> no kidding. You guys were like a bunch of pigmen. Meanwhile, the three of us were directing you from the top. I'm glad we didn't get crushed by those things when you threw us. <laughs> What's to my chagrin? You mean chagrin. Shut up. Yup. You three were the eyes, and us toots were the feet. It was a blast. Speaking of feet, how about those dumb escort missions? I watched Junior play that rabbit game, and you two dopes needed your hands held constantly. Duh! I was helping move Rabbit Mario somewhere safe to get defrosted! Of course I needed protection! We both had things to carry, and we were unarmed! Except for the hide-and-seek game. I got lost. That's on me. <laughs> yeah, it is. Pretty sure you wanted to hang out with your crush some more. <laughs> I told you, I'm not into Toad! Not him! Mario, I heard what your friend said last episode. Oh, my tough and this sister takes an awkward silence. <laughs> I, I bet you're both really uncomfortable right now. <laughs> what are you going to do? It's going to plan the wedding, huh? Oh, oh, wait, wait. Are all three of you going to get married together? <laughs> Mario told the two that sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S Thanks, Mario. Dan Solo 0119 has a question for the Mario Bros. How do you feel about sending chain chomps after Toad Ed in Mario Party Superstars? Oh, uh, we wouldn't send wild chain chomps after her. Uh, they were all trained, unlike the ones in the minigames. Oh. It's still nerve-wracking! I'm literally inches away from those teeth! Those barking wrecking balls give me the willies. I know that feeling. Uh, at the age of three, the bomb battlefield kind of freaked me out. <laughs> this is why I'm a cat person. Is it really that stressful? I'm sorry, Toadette. I, I didn't nah, mean nah, to. It's all right. I wouldn't keep being the star space giver person. 
thingy if I didn't like doing it. Speaking of things I don't like. I and C. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes the baby in the baby carriage. Then the a divorce, then the honeymoon, then... Wait, is that the right order? I forgot. T-Man57 has a question for Toadette. Who would you... M uh, next question. Uh, is there an issue with the Wi-Fi connection in my brain? Smash Toadette. RPG has a question for Toadette. How did it feel to be kidnapped by Bowser in Mario Maker 2? After that ordeal, I have a new appreciation for what the princess goes through. Why the heck did you interrupt my project like that, Bowser? I worked hard on it! I don't know. I was bored. But who cares? After Peach is living in my castle permanently, she won't need another one. Helping out took me back to my carpenter days, but I ended up doing most of the work. The other toads sure did slack when you weren't looking. <laughs> well, what can we say? The chief here can be a ruthless taskmaster. <laughs> I am not. They're just freaking lazy. It's not my fault good help is hard to come by. Yeah. But I had way more fun running with you guys in Buckingberry in versus mode. That dashing blue fungus is always a delight to collaborate or compete with. <laughs> dashing? You think Buck is handsome? Not that kind of dashing! He's, uh, uh, super speedy! <laughs> hey, girl, who are you in love with? Oh, wait! Speaking of Buck, he, Toad, and I are on a poster in the Mario movie! <laughs> Did you guys see that clip yet? Oh, yeah, I can't believe we haven't talked about it yet! I know, I'm so excited about it! Uh, in due time. In due time? In due time. Val has a question for the Mario cast. Why can't I think of a good question to ask you guys? Hey, babe. You've been real quiet. You doing okay? Oh. Uh, yes, honey. I've just been enjoying the view and thinking about your muscles. <laughs> Of course you have. Hey, what the? Barry, the heck are you doing here? Oh, hello, sire. Uh, I'm on break, so I thought I'd fly around a break? bit. Break? Oh. I never gave you a break. Get back to work or I'll break your shot. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Friggin' paratroopers. Anna Callaghan has a question for Toadette. Do you give music lessons? I remember in Mario Party DS, you had a big room full of instruments. I don't give music lessons, but I do have a fascination with instruments. I like to take them apart sometimes and figure out how they work. Have any of you heard of the great Todofsky? Yeah. No. I got to meet him at that tadpole pond he's always at, and he lent me some of his sheet music. Yee! Oh yeah, you've shown it to me before. I'm a bit of a conductor myself. <laughs> uh, sheet music kind of freaks me out. Uh, what does it? M M Melody Pianissima tried to attack me with it. <laughs> uh, but, but at least her music was kind of pretty. I can see why the ghost butler had a crush on her. <laughs> I've composed too and played a lot of instruments, but I really like to sing. Wow. Yeah, I, I like to sing too. My voice is my favorite instrument, but I used to play the piano and trumpet when I was a kid. Did somebody mention music? Oh, hey, Doj Me, aka Jason. You can't talk about music without me. Music is in my name. Doj Me is an instrument? Yes, it's because Doj Me is an instrument. No, you dingus. You ever seen the sound of music? Well, I did sing the Do Re Mi song back in second grade. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, back in high school, I actually had the privilege of being classically trained by an opera singer. It was great, albeit rigorous. Well, aren't you dorks cultured? You're one to talk, King Baz McDrums. Huh? <laughs> yeah, we, we found this art of you playing the drums. Oh yeah, this is the artwork for the soundtrack to Super Mario 3D World. The only reason I'm smiling is because I put stickers in your face on each drum, Mario. <laughs> I gotta admit, I was jealous that the Goomba Trio got to sing here. 
It is the season finale. Ah, what the heck? I'll sing a tune right now. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Hold it, Mario! Hmm? Rule number one of vocal performances never perform without warming up first. Wait, come again? I'll tell you later. Maybe it'll strike a chord with you? Get out of my sight! <laughs> Keyblade Mistress has a question for Toadette. Since you have the Super Crown, does this mean if anything were to happen to Princess Peach, you would be next in line for the throne? And there it is. First off, I'm not royalty, so I'm not next in line or anything. The Super Crown has a purpose besides making someone look like Peach. Like inspiring fans to make weird gender-bent versions of us? Don't oh. give them ideas. No! <laughs> if someone needs her floating powers, they can use them. Despite my irritation with the obsession over this thing, I will admit I find it fascinating. Why does it work on me, but not you guys? I don't know. We just get a few coins when we grab it. Maybe I could do some experimenting. Bowser, would you like to volunteer? Oh no, keep that freaking thing as far away from me as possible, you big dweeb. Are you sure? You don't want to see if Bowser is canon? Hmm? Not on your life, stupid. Stupid. Okay, now I want to try this even more. Stay away from me, you monster! Oh, look, babe, we're here. Oh, Joy. <sighs> Welcome back, your rudeness. You're back early. Uh, what do you have there? What are you, blind? It's my soulmate. Hello, Kamek. I'm so happy to see you. I love being kidnapped. Did you polish your glasses? Uh, your, your surliness, don't you think there's something off about her? She's not a friggin' light switch. She's a woman. My woman. Your perceptiveness. Don't you think she looks a little, uh, uh, flat? I mean, a little. Uh, uh, damn it. We respect women of all body types around here. That's not what I mean, sire. Hey, Jeez. Papa. What are you doing with that cardboard cutout? Uh, cardboard? What are you... Is that... My old... Phone? Yes. <laughs> like a prank victim realizing they've been had. <laughs> oh, <laughs> take us home, Toadette. <laughs> okay, be sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button and bell icon to get notified when we release new episodes. Also, leave a comment below if you want a chance to hear us answer any questions you have. Thanks for having me on, boys. I can't wait for next... <laughs> so... This is how you chumps want to end this season! Breaking me so hard that I sent you to Hades! You know what's even funnier than that prank? Huh? The fact that you ran all the way back here when you could have flown in your copter. Oh, <laughs> I have a little surprise for you. Uh-huh. You must think I'm pretty stupid if you think I'll fall for- <gasps> Happy 20th episode! Is it... real? Yep! Just come on over and get it! <gasps> okay! <laughs> I'm going uh, over! Sleek. Let's see if your head pops up like a cork bottle! Bowser, stop it! Why? It's the funniest part of the show! I need my shirt! Don't worry, Mario! I've got this! Well, there goes my Y chromosome. Mine eyes have borne witness to the birth of an abortion.
abomination. Oh, please. I rock this dress. Anyways, guys, I've got a surprise for you, too. This guest needs no introduction and has been a long time coming. There, Peach. Welcome so to. So what's this then? An animatronic? <laughs> You're not getting me this time, boys. I'm out. Wait, Peach is up next? But Toad and I only got like one or two episodes. That's not fair. Oh yeah. Oh, don't worry. All three of you get to be in the next one. It'll be the best season premiere ever. Uh, greetings. Are you from another kingdom? I don't. <laughs> It was an accident. Slick's bizarre predicament aside, may this art serve you well, your grace. And may I not be as badger to finish Daisy. <sighs> and Rosie, don't forget Rosie. Excuse me, Slickette. 